Do you actually know what you need from your garden or what you want from your garden? If you know yourself, you behind this camera, if you know what you need or what you want from your garden, if you're clear on this, let me know in the comments. Everyone's going to need something different from their garden. There may be some similarities running through. Everyone's life's different. Everyone's going to need something different from their garden. So yeah, leave in the comments. If you know what you need, actually need from your garden, really think about it. If you need from your garden, let me know in the comments. If you don't, have a think and then come back to this video and then post it another day. I'd be amazed to see what you come up with. But this will be really enlightening for you and it will definitely help to create a garden that is stress-free and easy to manage. Not to mention a garden that you actually love and will support your life. So that's really important. Once you have thought about what you need from your garden, or what you need it to provide, i.e. a veg patch to grow healthier food for a healthier diet, lifestyle, that sort of thing, even to save you money on your food bills, that is a big trigger point at the moment in life with everything that's happening. Food prices going up, our cost of living going up everything going up in price growing your own food is a godsend so having your own veg patch to grow your own food to save money on your food bills that's a real need for some people having a relaxing space now this gets overlooked quite often as well having a relaxing space to um, switch off from the world move away from work and life especially if you're working from home that is a need and also another one i put down here which somebody mentioned to me the other day is having a safe environment for your kids to play you can't always, especially this time of year when it's winter where we are in the UK, uh, it's not always possible to take your kids to a playground or take them to a park or go out somewhere. But if you've got a nice garden with a nice safe area for them to play in, that's a free, effectively free alternative. Save you a lot of time fitting around the schedule. So that works as well. So that's just, that's just three that I came up with um, when I was writing these notes out. that I've heard in the past from people as well. So they are real life. Um, needs from people in their garden so once you start to think about it you will actually find that you can come up with the needs quite easily you know what you need from your garden deep down you know what will make your life easier so this is what you need to do so just sit and think about it but again if you ha don't know what your needs are right now let me know in the comments um, come back to this video let me know what you've thought about it'll be interesting to see